Thanks for staying with us. Now we have a spokesperson, Nigeria Immigration Service, with us on the phone, Mr. Dotsu Aridegbe. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good to have you. Yes, so we've been speaking about um, the fact that um, the Minister of Interior told us all the backlogs have been cleared. We opened our phone lines for Nigerians to call in. Some have confirmed, but most of them from the UK are still having issues, saying that the, um, the office there is, um, they are yet to get their passports, and they're really, some have even accused some of, um, of my practices in those offices outside Nigeria. Could you give us a, a confirmation of, what, of how the backlog was cleared, first of all, mm -hmm. and the issues we're hearing from, from the UK especially? Yeah, thank you very much, um, my presenter. Now, after the Honorable Minister gave us um, the marching order, which was um, positive, and uh, we thank God for him, because um, the Controller General, you know, reacted to it positively by, first of all, um, inaugurating a task force that went around all the passport offices to ensure that the marching order was effectively carried out. And I wish to tell you to inform Nigerians that um, officers at the passport office, including the Controller General, worked tirelessly. In fact, we ran three shifts, including weekends. We never the Controller General in person of um, Caroline Uraola Adepoju, FSI, PCC, Daga, worked tirelessly to ensure that this deadline was fulfilled. And today, we are all happy that at least we were able to clear all the backlogs. Officers were on their toes. They worked day and night, running shifts, and including weekends, nobody had rest, so as to meet up the deadline. And um, regarding the one in UK, all efforts have been made by the service. You know, sometimes um, um, we normally have issues with either name or data. But as far as I'm concerned, UK too, the Controller General is looking uh, into it to make sure that the Nigerians there get their passport seamlessly. Okay. Okay, sir. Um, we'd just like to know if you could just brief us. For those who have been asked to collect their passports, are you sending them text messages? What is the method in which you're asking them to come and pick it up? And when they get there, what's the process of collecting? Okay, so um, it would be nice to know, just like you said, um, the procedure mm. of um, picking up so that those who haven't got, gotten it can know you what know to what expect to, yes. and what to do. Um, what I would like to know exactly is what caused the backlog. Yeah. It would be really nice to know what was done. You know, this mm. is just, oh, it was done, we made the deadline. That's nice and good, but what exactly caused it? How do we um, mm. Stop it mitigate from... this from happening again? Yeah, yeah. me, so I heard a woman, he said Caroline. Don't, yes, I was like, no wonder there's a woman. <laughs> a woman. Hey, hey, high five. Be sure. Like, I'm making that <laughs> <Yes>. deadline. <laughs> but it's been nice to have him back. I don't know, we're having connection issues. If not, maybe just quick, have him call in. Maybe just we'll have a phone call with him to be nice to really speak with him. Maybe we should go on a quick break where we come back. Hopefully, the connection will we'll be have resolved. Him back. Mm. Thanks for staying with us. We still have our spokesperson with us. Sir, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. So you, I'd like you to go ahead with um, Mariam's question, please. Sorry about the technical disruptions. Like I was saying, while the passports were being used, I simultaneously we were getting in touch with the applicants to collect their passports. And I want to use this um, opportunity to tell Nigerians that at any point in time they are applying for passports, they should, they should give us their own addresses and numbers and not to use a third party addresses and phone numbers because we discovered that most of them normally go through a third party and the third party gives their own information as regards them addresses and phone numbers. Mm. So please Nigerians should go for their passports right now. And I can assure you that we have started sending text messages and even phone calls to various applicants for their passports to be collected. No, um, how, um, Mariah was asking before, how did it um, get so bad? And what are you going to do to stop it from it getting that up. bad again? <laughs> it, it never got so bad. Mm -hmm. You know, we were working. And um, the minister, uh, the Honorable Minister of Interior, in person of Dr. Olumoni Tunji Ojo, has promised that um, we are going to sustain it. Okay. And I can assure Nigerians that we will sustain the temple. 
Okay, sir. Um, my concern is when a person has a mistake on their passport in the spelling of their names now, mm. is it the same old procedure of traveling to Abuja that must apply or can it be done within the state of residence? Yes, yes. you know, like um, the minister, I, I told, told Nigerians that he's been having a series of meetings with the management of um, the, the Nigeria Immigration Service under the tutelage of Caroline Uraula Adepoju. FSIPCC dagger, and they are going to come out with modalities that I can't tell now until the modalities are realized before we can get to you on that. Okay, I guess so. Let me, let me rephrase YK's question. So, something must have caused the backlog. What exactly was it technical? Was the issue of logistics? Was the issue of um, the, the names, data, booklets, availability? There are so many factors. Could you give us an idea? of what caused this backlog to be so high? Uh, because many men, men who say they had to wait months, some actually um, uh, registered, or I think maybe they applied in January or even last yeah. year, uh -huh. you know? So what exactly caused it? Could you just give us an idea? We'll try to bring him back again, hopefully to answer that question before we let him go. But as we've all agreed that the minister has been doing quite a bit, and uh, hopefully this is sustained. Um, continuously. I think one of the things I can blame the backlog for was printing of the passport booklets outside the country, which was handled by the former minister for interior at the time. And he mentioned that, you know, they will stop printing outside. Yeah. I'm hoping that they don't ever go and print our national, you know, property security. outside, the securities outside this country anymore. Very good. Um, I have a call out, Oladi Bukwa from Lagos Island. Good morning, Oladi Bukwa. Okay, good morning. Good morning. Please, my own case, I just want to tell you my own case. I've captured at Abuja on the 26th of July. Mm -hmm. That's about two months ago. Okay. Even I even called my immigration officer mm -hmm. that the one in charge yesterday. He told me that my passport is not here ready. Okay. So I, I now wonder, based on what you are saying, what you people are saying on the phone now that the, the backlog is easy now, that everything is in... Thank you very much. So I'm happy that you brought your own issue up. So hopefully if we can get the spokesperson back, he can help us address somebody who captured back in July in Abuja. Two months ago, he's yet to call, get his passport, and he was called or he spoke to his immigration officer just yesterday, and that person said it's not ready. So yes. uh, we need to understand what happened there. Maria hopefully. Oduyebo says, your view, ladies, please comment Sweden for... A good job on passport issuance. Is this Sweden or Nigerian? It, 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 it is the Nigerian Embassy. High Commission. The, the High in, Commission in, in, in Sweden. Sweden. Okay, all right. So, so we did actually commend. commend them, but for your sake, we are doing it again. <laughs> okay. Did we take Dr. Max, who says he applied for his in August yes. and he's yet to get it? Here in Lagos, Nigeria, and then okay, okay. I'm okay. told that we have, I don't think we have our guests anymore, so we have to disconnect. So let us move on. But thank you very much. We are really wanted to know what happened, but hopefully it's sustained. Let's go on a quick break. Mm. We'll come back. Was, um... We discussed the story that happened with the railway. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Mm. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.